at Woodlanders. Today, I'm at Hartwood Woodland Community HQ, and it's all about Contiki kilns today. Contiki kilns are a kiln that tends to be used to make biochar, an ongoing trial with National Forest and I think it's Nottingham University. Hart would have got a brand new Contiki kiln from a guy I think in Wales somewhere. He delivered it a couple of weeks ago and this is the first burn so it's a bit of a trial trying to work out workflows and how it's going to go, how the Contiki kiln works. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you if you've never seen a Contiki kiln in action what it does how you do it. Me? Have you had a tutorial about it? You've seen a bit on YouTube. Watch that we've seen on YouTube. Have you? <laughs> So the way this thing works, in theory, is that we keep putting brass on to smother the flame. As soon as it burns through and starts turning to ash like it is now, we'll smother it again. And eventually we fill the thing to the top. And the brass that's underneath has got no oxygen to burn. So we fill it right to the top, keep filling it to the top. Once it's full at the top, we'll quench it with water and fill it out. Because once it gets hot and it starts drawing out the side of the cone, the heat comes on the top. And there shouldn't be any smoke in it. It should be burning the smoke in it and I put the flame curtain on the top of it. Yeah, well, I've been covered in mud and I know when I'm not wanted. The one I saw when they, they flooded it from the bottom. Oh, I see, and put a hose on. Got a head of water. Yeah, of course. Let it flood in. Filled it to the top. Right. The biggest challenge you'll have is um, the amount of weight that that water will bear on that pallet. Tripping. Charcoal tea, that's it. Yeah. Well, has it worked? Yeah, can I see? Yeah, I'll do it. It's made a reactive oil. Well, that was a success. I was actually quite surprised at how much came out of that in the end. We got through a fair bit of brash and we think we've possibly got around about 600, 700 litres of biochar. Trying to work out how much manpower it takes to be able to produce that amount of biochar. So I hope you found that in some way useful. It's been an interesting experiment. It's by no means a tutorial on how to make biochar, but it shows the process. All we've got to do now is find a market. Thanks for watching. And if you're able to, why not have a go at producing some 
Oh, you've tuned. I'll see you in the next one.